What is going on guys, DBG in this video I'm going to be going over how you guys can make pretty much the perfect NBA 2K18 my team on a budget. Unless you have a god squad, unless you're putting in hundreds and hundreds of dollars into the game, the way to make a perfect team is basically the exact same. Well, with my playstyle anyway, and it is the playstyle that I think is most effective for winning games in my team. Obviously, you can upgrade and downgrade certain players, but I think just these type of players are the perfect type of players to use to basically counteract the god squads to make your team as good as possible for as little MT as possible. If this video could hit 300 likes, that would be insane. And now let's get on to the team. So at the point guard position is where you're going to want your main man. So I'm going to say, for example, if you have a 100k budget, for 50 of those K, um, wait until there's a little bit of a market crash when there's another uh, good diamond card and pick up a diamond James Harden. Because this diamond James Harden card is basically can just take over games. He's offensively the best card I've used in the game. Unbelievable three-point shot, unbelievable dunk, great at going to the basket. And has killed me even when I am using the 3 million MT squads. And it's still probably one of not the best cards in the game. But if you are on a much smaller budget, there are a lot of really good alternatives. One really good alternative to use the point guard position. I know system proficiency is not the best, but it's this card right here. Which during uh, any minor market crash or any short term market crash is actually really cheap. And it's Ruby LeBron James, who actually you can pick him now for like 12k, which is really, really good. LeBron James does a similar job just without the three point shot, but he can hit them when he's wide open. And again, 86 ball control meaning speed boost and can just dominate from that point guard position. Really, really good. But if you're on an extreme budget, you can use a card like a Ben Simmons for about 3k MT. Yanis is alright as well to use, but I actually prefer Ben Simmons because he can speed boost. And yeah, like if you do need a point guard to run everything through, Simmons is a solid enough option if you're just starting out the game. The shooting guard is probably the least and most important at the same time. Because it's a position that you can get abused in, but it's also a position that you can hide a player in. And for that reason, my suggestion is always 3 and D. And for 1k MT, you cannot go wrong with a Chris Middleton card. So Chris Middleton is going to be one of your better defenders on the court. He's 6'8", so he's big for two guard. He's got really good lateral quickness of 88, good on ball defense by Q, great steal, as well as a great three point shot of 80, of 92, great mid range shot and a really nice release. Really, really good card to use. At the three, I like to just put an all around player in. Because I mainly run through my point guard, they have to be able to shoot the ball somewhat. And for that reason, for like 6K MT, you cannot go wrong with a Gerald Wallace. Gerald Wallace is like a poor man's diamond LeBron, to be honest. Like, nowhere near as good as diamond LeBron, but like, similar. They play a similar style. He's unbelievable. 99 defensive overall. Offensively, a great shooter, great dunker. With one of some of the best defensive stats in the game. And just a solid glue guy for the team. In the power forward position, for 2.5K MT, by Karl Malone. There's no ifs or buts about it by Karl Malone. And just like for the center position, for like 6K MT, by Hakeem Olajuwon. There's just, it'll take you a couple of hours to grind 6K MT, by a Hakeem Olajuwon. Like this card is unbelievable. Three Hall of Fame badges for 6K MT. So this team can be picked up, replace Harden with say, even the Amethyst Harden is like 15, 20K. So you can just replace Diamond with Harden with Amethyst Harden. And there's not that big of a difference except for the Hall of Fame badges. And your goal off the bench is always to calm the ship, to always make sure that you're in the game, to make sure you're never being let go too far behind, and just to make sure you're solid at all times. For that reason, I love this card at point guard, and it is Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's Amethyst is better than his Ruby, but his Ruby is still so good. Like, obviously he doesn't come with Hall of Fame badges, but it's just solid. Decent shot mid, good shot three. He can speed boost, so he can play at the point guard, and one of the best defensive cards in the game. An absolute beast of card, and a really solid card to use in my team. At the two, off the bench, really, because if you're playing a second unit, they're not going to have the likes of Diamond Harden, Diamond uh, Kobe. But if they do, you still need to have a somewhat decent defender, and uh, someone that can just shoot the ball. Because again, you can hide the two guard position, that's why I use Quinton Richardson. One of the best shooters in the game. He's got a 95 open shot three with a money release, as well as the ability to speed boost, a good driving dunk, and good speed, and a decent defender. Loud quickness of 82 and on ball defense like you've 84. So he's a decent, decent defender. At the three, again, just like with Gerald Wallace, you gotta put in a glue guy. And I really like a card like a Otto Porter in this situation. There's a lot of cards you can use here, like if you want a more of an offensive player, especially at the bench, you can use a Ruby Mellow, 
There's a lot of really good cards. Uh, if you want a post presence, you can use Mark Aguirre. Um, obviously, Ruby LeBron can use the three, but I don't really like Ruby LeBron the three because he's not the best shooter. But Otto Porter, really nice defensive card. Open shot mid 97, open shot 387, and I like his release. And he's got good lateral quickness, great steal, and good on ball defensive IQ. A really solid card. So, with the four, honestly, you cannot go wrong no matter what level, whether it's the emerald, whether it's even the gold if you're really stuck, or the ruby, or the sapphire. Chris Dapp's Porzingis. You can never go wrong with a Porzingis card solely because he's six foot, so he's seven foot three, sorry, and he shoots the lights out. I'm not actually sure what his gold is like shooting from three. His gold, 73, so sorry, get the emerald or the sapphire, Chris Dapp's Porzingis. But a card that you cannot go wrong just because of how big he is and a beast of a card. And at the five, pick up a Sam Whiteside, AKMT. Whether you want to start Whiteside or start Akeem, doesn't really matter. These two cards are must, must buys for every NBA 2K18 in my team. Let's be honest, for how cheap they are, they're too good. The last three guys off the bench are three guys that do things that nobody else does, but aren't necessarily the best cards. So because you've got a Sam Whiteside and you've got Akeem Olajuwon in there, two non-shooting centers, if you ever want to spread the floor or pull a center out of the key, You've got to get a center that can shoot the ball. There are so, so many of them. Like, DeMarcus Cousins can shoot it if you have a little bit more of a budget. Zindrunas Ilgowskis shoots the lights out. He's a little bit more expensive than Boogie and a little bit worse stats-wise. Jokic can shoot it. Gasol can shoot it. Vucevic, any version of Vucevic. The Ruby is like 4K MT. That's a great card to use. But for the sake of keeping this squad cheap, I'm actually going to throw in Marc Gasol. I don't know why. I just kind of like this Marc Gasol card. Actually, no, 53 system efficiency, give me buggy. I take a 90 over that any day. Next, you need a flat out scorer, a guy who will put the ball in the basket. And there's a lot of good options for cheap. You can obviously, if you have a little more budget, you can go for DeMar DeRozan, but I think that his um, salary cap's gonna go up to 1,000 next round, so he's not may not be the most useful. You can go with a guy like Ruby Mello, who's a beast, and Booker will do the exact same job. You don't need folks at all on defense with these players. If you're on a budget, go with a Zach Levine card, a great shooter who can jam it. Chandler Parsons, more of a shooter, not really a scorer. Alex English is a scorer. But um, I'm actually going to put in the uh, Ruby Carmelo Anthony card here because he's got that ability to speed boost, um, 86 ball control, and he can honestly play the James Harden role a little bit. And last up off the bench, we have got a guy that just does something completely different than any other card in the game. And I'm going to advise you guys that no matter what, no matter what team you have, put this guy in your squad. And it is Ruby Mark Aguirre, even if you have a God squad. Because he's a two guard, well, he's down a small four, but he's got the height of a two guard, and he's probably best at the two. With a 96 plus fadeaway, 95 plus hook, 94 post control, great draw foul, great shot close, great shot mid. And especially if you're coming up against someone like a Diamond Iris and at the two, or even a Diamond James Harden. These guys have great lateral quickness, but no on no low post defensive IQ. And Aguirre can abuse people in that situation. If you're stuck, he's a perfect guy to just have on the end of your bench. And he's so, so cheap. A must put into any squad pretty much. So yeah, this is the squad. We've got James Harden, Chris Middleton, Gerald Wallace, Karl Malone, Hakeem. And it doesn't really matter what individual players you can use. You can obviously substitute out any of these guys. These are just guys that I really like. And I personally think that one through four has got to be guys that can shoot the ball. You can get away with your center not shooting the ball, but you need at least four guys that can shoot the ball. Otherwise, they can sit in a zone and will kill you in game. But yeah, the way I play, this team suits absolutely perfectly. And to be honest, if you know how to play the game and you've got a team like this, you may not beat God squads because there's an obvious advantage to having the God squads, but you definitely will be in with a shot, especially if you're the better player. So anyway, now we're going to go into a game with this squad. Oh, easy. There we go, Harden. 6-2 lead. Okay, someone's got to be open on this. Oh, get out. What are you doing? All you have to do is run the straight line, Gerald Wallace. Straight to the basket. Gerald Wallace finishes the layup. Let's go. Corner for Porzingis. The three. And Porzingis puts it in. Bang. Green light. Let's go. Let's go. Straight to Harden. To the basket. Easy dunk. Let's go. Eight point lead. Three for Porzingis. And he misses it. Oh, come on, lads. All you have to do is make a chest pass. All you have to do is make a chest pass there and Butler was over three. Thank God we get the dunk though. Okay, three. And Melo puts it in. There we go. Let's oh, open. Good release. And Melo hits a second one. Let's go. Ten point game. 
That's why you've got mellow, just for those small bursts. Middleton in the corner for three. And that is why he is in there to hit them shots. Three and D players, that's all you need. All you need is one or two stars in every team and the rest of them being three and D guys, guys who can block shots, rebound. That's literally all you need. If you have two guys who can drive to the basket, like two like all around scorers on the team, couple of slashers, couple of shooters, couple of defenders, be grand. Finds Hakeem, finds Middleton, the three, green light. Let's go Chris Middleton. Let's go to Middleton, three. Ah, and Harden's there at the board. I had missed the putback. Are we about to cause a rage quit? We just caused a rage quit with this team. Like that is literally all you need. You need a guy like a Harden who can attack the basket. You need your two guard, all they need to do is shoot the ball. Your power forward, all they need to do is be able to shoot the ball or play in the post, one or the other. And maybe a little bit on post defense. Like the only positions that matter are point guard and center. Let's be honest, the only two positions that matter in my team. You can honestly put a point guard, a shooter at the two, a shooter at the three, a shooter at the four, and a good center, and you have a chance against anybody if that point guard and center are good. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.